At one East Nashville restaurant, they have an ever-changing menu because they focus on what's in season. Come along as I take you to Butcher and Bee in this week's Farm to Fork. For one, the food just tastes better. I'll take the Rocky Glade sweet potato and cook it the same way as the sweet potato from like a supermarket. And it's just unparalleled how much better it is. Hey, Alan. At Butcher and Bee in Nashville, Chef Scott Littman is almost giddy when the Nashville grown food truck arrives. Sometimes I like to taste them. It's his weekly delivery of farm fresh ingredients, literally harvested hours before its arrival. We like to let them tell us what grows well at what time and what they want to grow, and they know how to grow well and we'll use it. We'll find out how to use it. Lipman loves to take what's fresh and in season and make it sing, not necessarily with a traditional southern twang. We like to take what they have and sort of utilize it and let that drive our menu and just sort of put this Middle Eastern swing onto everything. The whip feta, I came here two years ago, February, and I haven't stopped thinking about it since I came last time, so I had to come back. Our go-to date night, and always when people are in town, it's delicious. So with a Middle Eastern twist, Lippman can take his wall of locally grown items and make something spectacular. From the ever popular avocado crispy rice, which of course avocados and rice are not grown in the region, but he still uses local where he can. Little parts of each dish that are local and that, that really, you know, that's why I'm proud of that dish as well. Not only does it taste great, but we're using a lot of local ingredients for something that's kind of not local as a whole. And another signature dish is the farmhouse hash, which features my all-time favorites, sweet potatoes and mushrooms. I would cross six lanes of traffic covered in thumbtacks to get to that. That is delicious. Oh, goodness. The chicken shawarma, the fresh eggs, those cheeky green mushrooms, and then you know my sweet potatoes. I have a weakness for that sweetness in those sweet potatoes. While Butcher and Bee is one of the best at tickling your taste buds, Chef Littman says there's more to the meal than what fills your tummy. It's what feeds your soul. Sort of sense of community and the sharing of a meal. You know, sometimes that's more important than the actual food itself. An interesting side note, Chef Littman was actually an eighth grade science teacher before becoming a chef there. He actually walked in and started out as a sous chef and then worked his way up to executive sous chef. That place is wonderful.